do this shit until they murder me. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Digitals. I know it's been a while, but I'm coming at you swinging hard with a new ZVT guide. I know I've got a lot of requests from people I talk to and chat with in the community about ZVT, and now it's a bit of a, a tricky matchup. But uh, I've been going through some of my subscriber replay packs, uh, people I'm subscribed to on Twitch, some very great, great Zergs, and there's been this timing floating around, taking games off some high-level GM Terrans. It is known as the 32 Drone Roachling Timing. It's not an all-in. It's not to be mistaken with the 19 drone Roachling timing. And uh, to start things off here, we're going to go into this first replay where I play this 5k uh, Terran player here. And this guy, he's a uh, very low Masters 1 Terran. And we're going to hit him with this timing. Now this build is great because not only can you transition into a nice macro game behind creating set advantage, you can also hold a lot of two base pressures or timing attacks from the Terran as well. Uh, we're going to cover a couple things that I don't really talk about too much, like uh, queen positioning and zoning out the first Reaper. I think it's very important. It's important definitely if you're looking to increase your gameplay. So we open up standard, hatch gas pool, 17, 18, 17. Uh, once we research Zergling speed, we're going to take two off gas. And yes, I have two replays we're going to go over. Uh, one will show the macro transition, and this will show just walk in the park. Win game, easy. Uh, there's a Reaper, we saved the drone. Yada yada yada. I wanted to see the factory scout to see if it was a factory opener here, but I didn't get up the ramp too far. I seen the Marine, I decided peace out. The scout really isn't important based on the build that we're doing. It, it honestly isn't. It's not worth losing the Overlord. It, it, it's not. So, when your Queens come out, you want to position them at the edge of the creep, and over here, I want to inject and position it right over here. Stop Reaper from jumping up. And just kind of be cautious of where the Reaper is and where he can jump out. So that's what you do. I seen him poke in and then move over there, I thought. So Lings are up here. Just try to stop him as long as possible. Now run 25 to 28 drones out of the 32 you're making. You want to drop the Roach Warren and a second gas. Drone up to 32. Everything looks normal now from the Terran standpoint, right? He sees the fast third base, he doesn't see the Roach Warren. And he's doing his standard shit with the fast third part of the wall. Behind his little map control hellions, thinking, you know... Thinking he's gonna reign supreme. And he's just YOLOing up here into the ramp, tries to get into the main. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, but... We cut him off with our first six Zerglings that we made, so I make four. I make six. Three sets. And anyways, Roaches come out just in time. We only lose two workers. And we go across the map. So you want 12 to 15 roaches tops. That's the sweet spot. spot. Make two to three ravagers, and you can start transitioning into drones after you flood a couple speedling reinforcements here. Now, in this game, he goes for the fast third, so he's got a little bit less than a two base player would have to deal with this, and it's just a walk in the park. Snipe the, uh, the shimmering tech lab there. They fuck your. Uh, Back. And that'll be all she wrote. Keep in mind, that's a Masters 1 player, guys. That's pretty easy. Now, we're just gonna irrit and fast forward to the next game. Alright, guys, we're into game two where I'm gonna show you the macro transition and the flexibility of this build. You don't have to kill them, sometimes you can't do that much damage against two base openers or, you know, all this other mangled shit that Terran wants to throw at you. So, this game will be an example of that. Now, if you enjoyed game one and you feel like you've learned something or you actually, I don't know, like StarCraft 2 related content like this, please drop a like and subscribe or do one better and catch the mangled live high octane THC infused build orders at twitch.tv slash digitals1. The link will be in the description. I appreciate the follows. I appreciate all the viewers. And uh, it lets me know you guys like the material and that you want to see more of this. So we'll speed through this one. Same opening. Nothing's changed. Hatch gas pool. Like uh, a lobotomized monkey could get this shit figured out, you know? Pretty simple. Same to third base. New queen has emerged. You're under attack. Your base Three sets of lings. Again. And queen positioning. Remember, we talked about this in game one. Queen motherfucking position. I mean, you should be doing this in all your games. This isn't build specific, guys. Come on, you want to up your play. You want to hit Masters 1. Remember, 
It's Digital's TV, your guide to Master Zerg gameplay. A creep tumor's under attack. Hey, your base is under attack. So, it's anyways, attack. I guess on the other side, he's going for a very uh, two base oriented play here. He's got a fast stim pack coming in with uh, Marines. Do you have an armory? Yeah, you wanted to go for a Hellbat Marine stim timing on two bases. <laughs> Little does he know, he's about to get hard countered. We move across, we're like, yeah, we don't need to fight this just yet. Group up, we make our Ravagers. And we basically have to send him going all the way back home. He doesn't even want to trade off the Hellbat here. At this point, just tear down the front wall. Prepare the retard magnet here for the Lynx. And as you see, I'm already trickling drones. You get the fast layer. Fast layer, you're mining off two gas. You're going to have gas to spend, man. You fast layer. And, uh... Double evolution chamber. I recommend going into Hydra Ling Bane or just Ling Bane Queen, Fast Hive, whatever your style is. You can go Roach Hydra, you can do whatever, but you know, already making drones and I'm up 10 workers, so this is basically how the game looks. You don't have to end here, you can transition out, which is what I do. Hydralist end. Upgrades. And uh, this game goes on for a while. And you don't really need to see it. I, I, I obviously close it up on like twice his worker count right now and higher army supply lead. It's very hard to toss this game down. But that is it, man. It, it goes right into a standard macro game. You could either kill your opponents flat up, which 90% of my games, that's what it looks like. Or you can transition. So hope you guys learned something. Once again, I am Digitals. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash digitals1. And... I uh, really hope you enjoyed this and learned something. Have a good one, guys. Peace.